Do you have a website and are you using AI tools such as ChatGTP to create articles for you to rank for certain keywords? Then this video is going to save you a lot of time and effort going forward. Server SEO, you know, the one that lets you plan and write articles based on real-time metrics such as NLP keywords, images and data, just launched their Server AI add-on for the tool. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of why this is a big deal. But before we dive into the good stuff, let me introduce myself. I'm Dylan. I'm a Dutch entrepreneur with a love for AI, development and online marketing such as SEO. Let's dive into the good stuff. But before we start, please note that the Surfer AI is an add-on on top of an active Surfer SEO subscription. So you need an active subscription of Surfer SEO to use the AI functionality. Their pricing starts at $29 per month, but if you pay annually, then you have to pay $19 per month. Now that is out of the way, let's dive into the tool itself. Yeah, you can see it here, that is the add-on server AI. Inside the content editor, and I've got a Trail account set up, we can start planning and writing our keyword using AI. You see here, write with AI, click this button, and then we decide on the keyword that we want to write an article about. For this demo, I've decided to write an article about a difficult topic called how much does a website cost? This is a question that's asked a lot when you work in web development and software development. So I'm going to type in the keywords. You can see here the volume and the keyword and the difficulty. You see that's quite a difficult keyword to rank on and that it's searched 2,400 times per month. All right. How much does a website cost? I will keep it set to the United States and I'll press create for one AI credit. When I press create for one AI credit, you see in the top left corner that it creates a content editor. And in the content editor, we work and we create an outline and that outline will generate into a great ranking article. Give it a few moments to load up. Right. Now the content editor is created for the keyword that I just set, which is how much does a website cost um, for mobile in the United States with NLP entities. It's done analyzing uh, the first page of Google for this certain keyword. So let's click complete your article. And when you click this button, you will see a few options. If you've never seen server before, um, let's first dive into the tone of voice. The tone of voice, you can choose like bold, casual, dramatic, excited, witty, humorous. This changes the tone of the entire article that the AI will write, but we'll keep it at auto serve base to give it the tone of voice that the top uh, hits in Google also use. Um, yes, I would like to review the outline in the next step, of course. And right here, we will choose the best matches, which the tool does automatically for you, but you can change this however you like. Um, for example, if we want the, also want the Team Owl one, we can include this competitor. Um, you can see that it's here based on a content score, so I'm not going to do it anyway. So click create outline. It will create an outline based on the content of this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one with context scores, which are all in the green. Create outline. And AI is currently analyzing all of the sites which we just selected and is seeing, all right, what topics do we need to rank for uh, the keyword that we just typed into? How much does a website cost? All right, we're back. This took about four to five minutes to create this outline. And you can see that it generated the correct headings, such as the H1s, the H2s, and the H3s, based and sourced upon the top ranking articles which we selected. Um, so we can check how much does a website cost in 2023. A comprehensive guide is a catchy title. First, we dive into the website creation options, the DIY website builders. 
utilizing WordPress and hiring a web designer or agency. This is correct. We're doing the fact checking right now, by the way. Uh, then the factors influencing website costs is domain registration, hosting services, design and customization. It's also correct. For e-commerce websites and online stores, we need to pay attention to the platform selection, such as WooCommerce or Shopify, the payment processing and certain integrations. This is also correct. And the ongoing maintenance and support. Furthermore, we have to factor in content creation and marketing, copywriting, visual content, SEO, search engine optimization, and digital marketing strategies. This is also correct. And to reduce the website cost, you can choose the right tools and services, leveraging free resources, and prioritizing essential features. Um, from what I've seen, this is a pretty solid list. Um, probably underneath digital marketing strategies is also uh, the part where we can uh, address uh, ads if we want. Uh, but I think this is a pretty solid outline to work with. Um, so we are now going to tell the tool um, to write the article. I let the tool spin for around 15 minutes and took a small lunch break. And as you see, the article is done based on what we fed the tool. Let's take a look at what it created. How much does a website cost in 2023? A comprehensive guide. Navigating the world of website creation can be daunting, especially when it comes to understanding how much does a website cost and making informed decisions. In this comprehensive guide, we'll explore the various factors that influence website costs different creation methods and the strategies for reducing expenses. By the end, you'll have the knowledge to make confident choices for your website's development and management. This is a pretty solid introduction and title. Furthermore, we have a short summary, which is also great for SEO purposes, which is essentially all the major points that we summed up below uh, for our outline. Let's take a look at um, the content structure and the content score, which um, rated the article. First of all, the content score, the content score has to be in green, but we see that we rate a 66 out of 100, while our competitors average 76 or even 82 at their top. So I think we have to furthermore improve upon this article based on the terms below and the NLP data um, or the content structure down here. Uh, the word count is perfect. Uh, we range within the 3100 to 3500-ish uh, words. We have enough headings, 27 headings, while the average is 26 to 31. Um, <clears throat> we are below the paragraph count. We have 30, 53 um, paragraphs, while our competitors use way more. And the images suggested by the tool, which we show you later, um, only has five. The images part, okay. Um, every blog is different, so I think you should decide for yourself what is a normal image count, what they look like, and what are uh, great alt texts. Um, let's hop in right into the article and check what it's done. You see that it has suggested images right here with the alt text already inserted, which you can use inside of your articles. It took every H2 and H3 and created various paragraphs based on the data and based on the NLP data and the competitors which we selected. What you see right here are the terms used into the headings by the competitors and the terms used in the paragraphs or the article itself. So if we want to improve upon the score, for example, you see here premium theme. Um, they recommend to use it around one to three times, and we currently only used it zero times. So we find a WordPress part, and we see something here about themes. And a significant advantage of using WordPress is the vast array of themes and plugins available, both free and premium. This flexibility allows users to tailor their website experience to their specific needs and preferences. However, it is essential to consider the quality of themes and plugins, as well as the potential ongoing costs associated with premium themes and plugins. 
And as you can see, you can do it like this with a premium team or plugin. And as you see, our score bumped from 66 to 71 because we included more data which they fetch from our competitors. And if you repeat upon this process, try to match at least around the average. Feel free to optimize it, but I rather have a lot of articles instead of one perfectly super optimized article because it saves me a lot of time and that's what we're here for. Let's do some fact checking also. We scroll down, we scroll down. This is a lot, so I'm not gonna read it, of course, in this video, but I'm very curious about the summary and the FAQ sections. What we see right here is the summary, understanding the various factors that include website costs and exploring different creation methods. Ma maintenance considerations and marketing strategies essential for making informed decisions about your website development and management. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This is about right, it sums up the entire article. And right here, which is also very handy for SEO, are the, is the FAQ section, the frequently asked questions. And uh, the tool fetches this from entering the keyword into Google, like so, how much does a website cost in 2023? And here you see the people also ask question uh, section. And if you want any more of these questions, you can just open, close, open, close open, close, and you have a bunch of questions you can answer in your article and maybe add upon this article. So right now, what do we have? We have a completely optimized and fact-checked article, um, which you can over-optimize right here. The facts are about right. And if you have WordPress connected to server, there will appear a button right here, the icon of WordPress, which with one simple click of a button, you can export this article and publish it on your WordPress website. I don't have it uh, uh, connected, so uh, we will have to copy everything in and paste it into our WordPress website. But if you want to save time, this is a great option inside Surfer SEO. All right, recap. Why is this a great article. As you, see, as you saw, with minimal effort and zero research, I could make a great article um, which matches the top matching hits in Google. Um, it creates the outline for you and the content brief. And based upon that outline, which you can uh, keep as is or add upon, it creates uh, a great article within, for me, 10, 50 minutes. This is also depending on how large the article is, of course. Um, it does fact checking because one of the downsides right now to ChatGTP is that it's trained upon a data model from before 2000 and 2021. And in this way, we can still, because we the tool checks the, um, because the tool checks the top hits in Google, which already probably have certain facts after 2021, you can say by a big chance that it's fact checked. The tool does a grammar check. This is very important. So if you're not a native English speaker like me, then this is very handy. It checks before writing and after writing, it checks uh, the grammar and inserts it in the article as following. And it also does a free duplicate check to see if you have unique content and it passes all the different texts for plagiarism and AI detection. Now that you have seen the power of server AI, I want to dive with you into the upcoming features inside of the tool. One is add inbound links through a prompt. So you can ask the tool, for example, with a small prompt, like you do also in ChatGTP, you can ask, add inbound links or outbound links uh, to my article and it will add it automatically through AI. The other one is that you can ask it to generate or add unique images to your article. For example, here, uh, where we have the replace image part that you have a unique article generated by the tool automatically. Um, furthermore, you can also ask the tool to make textual uh, adjustments to the article. For example, I'm a front-end developer for, with around 12 years of knowledge. I can tell the tool that so it incorporates some of my knowledge into the tool, which is great my knowledge and expertise. So it's handy for the EEAT, which Google really loves at the moment. I'll let you know what's in the future for server AI. 
let's talk about the current costs. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, you need an active subscription on top of the server SEO tool. On top of that, we have credits. Every article right now costs $29 to make. Okay, so it costs $29 to make on top of the current subscription uh, that is counted. It sounds a lot, but to put this in perspective, the current market rate for server optimized articles is around seven cents to 10 cents per word. So for a 1500 word article, pay around 105 to 150 US dollars, um, it's double the cost even for this article because it's 3000 words. So you save a lot of money on your articles, but also a lot of time. And this is only the writing. So you're not even factoring in the research, the outline creation, uh, adding the FAQs, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a pretty sweet deal. As a promotion right now, the server, AI, the server AI team is providing free article credits. So if you buy a package for five or more, you get free credits. Right here on the screen, you see that if you buy five credits now, you get two for free. So you get seven in total. You buy 10, you get five for free. You buy 25, you get 15 free credits right now. So you can make up to 40 articles for this amount of dollars. This promotion ends on May 3rd, 2023. So if you want it to be really fast after that, it's the base price for these credits. One twenty nine dollars, eighty five, etc., etc. If you want to use this special promotion or you want to use the tool, feel free to check the link in the description, which I've linked it. And I'm really curious to see what articles you can create with server AI. Thank you for your time.